On an island such as this, man lives with the birds, the fish, the trees, and there is no distinction. There is only a natural state of integrity. And all the power of inclusive nature is contained within these shores. Everyone is environmentally conscious here. Yeah. Very few places like this left. Easily accessible through you know, major airlift out of uh, the US uh, and Europe. Um, and just a short flight, 35 minute flight from Grand Cayman, you find somewhere that's so, so remote and so safe. Um, you know, to, li to live on an island like this that, where people don't lock their houses and you know, the keys are left in the car, it's just a very unique experience. The two islands are very different. They're similar in size, uh, Cambrack's a little bigger. Uh, Cambrack has, obviously has this really big, beautiful bluff, big, tall, 150-foot bluff on the east end. Um, it's a little more um, rugged, let's say. There's still a feeling of remoteness when you get to the to little Cam Cambrack. You, it's, it's kind of how the Caribbean used to be. Well, we have uh, the largest breeding colony of red-footed booby birds in the Western Hemisphere. Aside from that, we have uh, a large, healthy population of uh, little Cayman rock iguana. Thanks in, in much to a heavy conservation effort on this island. We have the Bloody Bay Marine Park, which is just outstanding. I mean, we have a large variety of fish, a large variety of coral, and a very healthy population of shark. So um, we're very fortunate to, uh, to be able to spend time and, and show people these things. The idea of nature needs no defense. It only needs defenders. And when you come here, you'll join the good campaign.